Stachybotrys shastarum, also known as Stachybotrys atra, is a greenish-black mold that can be found in properties with water damage or highly elevated humidity levels. It can grow on common materials found in buildings that contain a high cellulose and low nitrogen content. These include items such as fiberboard, gypsum board, paper, dust, and lint. Growth occurs when there is moisture from water damage, excessive humidity, water leaks, condensation, water infiltration, or flooding. Constant moisture is typically required for its growth. Over the past decade, there have been numerous media reports about Stachybotrys that have often referred to it as toxic mold. The term toxic mold is not accurate unless the fungi are actually tested to see if they are producing toxins. While certain molds are toxigenic, meaning they can produce toxins, specifically mycotoxins, the molds themselves are not toxic or poisonous and do not always appear to produce toxins. Stachybotrys have been found to have the ability to produce mycotoxins known as trichothecins. Trichothecins are powerful inhibitors of protein synthesis. They do this by reacting with components of the ribosomes, the structure within the cell where proteins are made. Mold growing in homes and buildings, whether it's Stachybotrys shatarum or other molds, indicates that there is a problem with water or moisture. This is the first problem that needs to be addressed. If the moisture problem is not addressed, then the mold will simply come back. Mold growth can be removed from some hard or non-porous surfaces. Mold in or under carpets typically requires that the carpets be removed. Once mold starts growing in insulation or wallboard, the only safe way to deal with the problem is by removal and replacement. When extensive mold growth is found, it is important to have it remediated properly to prevent making the current situation worse. Testing before any remediation work begins provides information about the types and amount of fungi present. This information can then be compared with post-remediation testing to ensure the space has been thoroughly remediated and is clean enough to allow humans to once again safely occupy the space. To learn more about prevention and environmental testing services, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.